Welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television. Shining the spotlight on the top places for you to stay, play, relax, and enjoy the greatest game on earth. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Michigan Golf Live Television. I'm Bill Hobson and today's show is special because you helped produce it. We asked you last year to vote for the hardest 18 holes in the state and thousands of you did. So in the next few moments, I'm going to play all of those holes from the tips. No mulligans, no camera tricks, just straight up me and a scorecard at some of the most challenging and beautiful holes in the entire state. Enjoy this special edition of MGL TV as we get rolling with hole number one. The official start of the Hardest 18 Tour takes us to a hotbed of golf in Michigan. We are at the Otsego Club where the Tribute's fourth hole will certainly get your attention. Mark Hogan, the brightly dressed head golf <laughs> professional, I wanted to match him today. He's going to take us on a tour of this fourth hole. Why was this voted one of the state's 18 hardest? You know, Bill, the, the best thing about this hole is, is that the driving area is very wide, very vast for the slice guy, the hook guy. The second shot is a layup shot, which is pretty easy, but I'm telling you, that shot to the green is very, very traumatic, very tough, and very difficult. Now, the tee shot does, if you're hitting it to the right side, have a little bit of danger, doesn't it, with a little ravine? Yeah, for the long hitters on the right-hand side, if you hit it too far, you're in the ravine, like you said. The layup shot is, is pretty easy, about a 100-yard layup shot. But like I said, the third shot to the green is very penal. You must hit the green. If you don't hit the green, you're, you're a lost ball. It's, it's a double bogey for sure. Once we get up to the green, it's still not an easy two putt from most places on that green. You know, it, it certainly isn't. And I know for, uh, for sure that the left side of the green is very undulated. If the pin is on the left-hand side, it's a huge left to right breaking putt. And the right side of the green has some danger as well. A lot of times you get to a uh, par five and we're kind of thinking, hey, man, I can probably squeeze a four out of this. You, your description has me wanting to squeeze a five out of this. And I agree. And, and a lot of players think that same way too, especially if they're playing from the white tees because on, on paper, it, it does not appear to be that long. But in theory, it's, it's a hard hole. Good job, sir. Good job. Good Opens job, with a par on a beautiful hole at the Otsego Club. We've got one hole under the belt, even par so far. I'm very excited about number two. We're in Grand Rapids at Thousand Oaks Golf Club, where some of you, many of you, have voted number six here as one of the hardest holes in the state. Gary Smithson, director of golf. What am I getting myself into on this hole? This is, this is all you want, um, 465 yards, and it's- Par it's, seven. <laughs> par seven, no. Um, it, this is our toughest hole, and I always tell people, the drive is, you know, the easier part of the two things. The green and the green complex are very difficult. It's, a, it's the most demanding shot we have for a second shot at Thousand Oaks for sure. You're not gonna run your second shot up onto this green. No. You gotta get it there. No, it's elevated, it's all carry, and the green has a, a distinct slope in the middle there, so you have two different elevations of green. Um, it, it, it's, it's a tough, demanding hole walking away from here making four is a good score. My goal throughout the course of this program is to never make bigger than a bogey. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no. How's that looking for me? Oh, no. Well, you got your hands full. You got your hands full here. This is a tough one. Hi there. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. This is gonna ruin my scorecard. The third hole on our tour of the state's toughest 18 as voted by you brings us to exit 160 on I-75. That's Bay City where you'll find Bay Valley, where you will find a beast of a par five at number six. Tom Naparelski is the pro here forever and a day, so you've seen all sorts of action on number six. What have we gotten ourselves into? Well, Bill, par five, 587 yards from the back tees. Um, basically got to navigate through water on all three shots, the tee shot, second shot, it's got to avoid some big willow trees on the left, water on the right, and third shot's got to avoid the uh, water to the green. The last thing I want to do is start this show with a three putt. Well, you did start the show with a three putt today, unfortunately, but you hit all quality shots up to that, Bill, so. It's not how, it's how many, and that's a bogey for me. Yep, it is a bogey for actually both of us. Get, get. The fourth hole in our tour of the state's hardest 18 holes, as voted by you, brings us to the Fenton area down US 23, where we find number 17 at the Coyote Preserve. Jason Rainey's the head golf professional here, and Jason, I'm standing on a par three 
holding a driver because I'm going to have to use it. What's going on here? Well, Bill, uh, most do, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, from the back tee here today, it's, uh, it's 225 yards, and we've got the pin kind of back with the wind. It's going to be about 245 carry to get to the flag today. Uh, so the driver is a very common club used by most here uh, on this hole. Now, unless I want to bail out to the left, there's there's nowhere else for me to put this ball except on the green. That's it's, correct. It's, it's do or die. It is. It, it's well guarded uh, with, the, with the water in front, rock wall, um, and then really short left is a bunker and long left is a bunker. So it, it's uh, Arnold Palmer uh, made it a tough finishing uh, stretch here at the Coyote Preserve, that's for sure. Well, let's see him come out and play this Absolutely. Hole, Thanks, Arnie. <laughs> he makes a deuce. Oh. We're going to quit right now. We're done. Never let it be said that at Michigan Golf Live, we're too lazy to make a long drive. Enough of you voted for the ninth hole at Timberstone in Iron Mountain that we have come this far to the western part of the Upper Peninsula to show you a beautiful hole on a stunning course. Larry Short is assistant golf professional here. Number nine, we Number talk nine. about difficult holes. Yeah. We're standing at the tips, yeah. 471 yard par four. Yeah. You're going to kill me. <laughs> it's not that bad. Really? It's not. Tell me about um, the hole. It's, it's a difficult hole. Uh, you got uh, down sloping uh, fairways down there. It's kind of like a target golf. You got to be able to know where to put your ball on this, on this hole. But from 471, I'm going to be approaching that target with a cannon instead of a pea shooter. <laughs> this is a big hit. It, it is, it, it is. But you know, the, the nice thing is, is if you keep it on the right side, uh, you kind of have an opening right at the green. You might want to carry the green uh, today because you don't want to roll it up there today because it's really soft up there, so you won't get much of a bounce. So your tip to me is hit your second shot really close to the really hole. Really close to the hole. That's fantastic. Yeah. I never would have thought of that on my own. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. That's what a professional does <laughs> as we tackle number nine here at Timberstone. Yeah. Hey, how about another bogey on the card, everybody? Welcome back to this Michigan Golf Live special, our tour of the state's hardest 18 holes as chosen by you. So far through five, I'm plus four. Let's see if we can do a little bit better as we continue. The sixth hole that we will feature on this tour is the 18th hole at Tullymore in Stanwood. Scott Cuxey is the head golf professional here and I could not imagine a more perfect setting than this 18th hole. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's a great par five, um, it's dog leg left. The toughest uh, shot is, I think, the drive. Uh, you have to carry uh, 225 yards to carry that bunker there and uh, carry the water. Your second shot's still very challenging. If you can position yourself uh, down the fairway on your second shot, you got a nice chance at birdie. Otherwise, uh, you could be making bogey or double. Well, you said the first shot is a tough shot, and then you mentioned that the second shot is a tough shot. I'm guessing the third shot's a tough shot. So where's the easy shot on this hole? <laughs> the, maybe the two-foot putt for par. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, there, 
if you, again, if you hit good solid shots, it's a very uh, playable hole, but they, they all have to be good. This is also just beautiful. Thank you. I mean, all the way from start to finish, this hole is a postcard. It is. It's a, it's a great setting, um, a great way to finish your round here at Tullymore. Um, it it uh, overlooks uh, the pond here and then our, uh, our beautiful clubhouse as well. Yes. Nice work. Thank you. Good up and down. Thanks, Phil. What a stunning hole here at Tullymore. When we asked you to vote for the hardest 18 holes, I had no doubt that at some point we would be on the bear at Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. Scott Hebert is the head golf professional here, and we are standing on number nine tee as voted by our viewers. What challenge does this hole present besides nonstop water from here to right. the tiny green? You know, the viewers did a great job in picking it. Uh, with the nonstop water to the green, it's not truly an island green, but it plays that way because it's, it's a peninsula green surrounded by water on three sides. So it's a bit narrow. There's some bunkers that can catch your ball on both sides, but hopefully you got one online and you're able to get the right distance because the green is almost 40 yards deep. So pay attention to your pin sheet when you come out to the resort so you get the right hole location so you can pull the right club. Is this where the pro tip sheet says tee shot should favor pin? Yeah, exactly. It's always very helpful <laughs> to hear that kind of advice. Um, where can I miss it if I miss it? Well, you want to miss it online. You want to miss it long, obviously, because you can still play from behind the green. And if I want to just make it, is that all right? You can make it, too. Yeah, that'd be good for TV. That's something you'll do, probably on the first take. Number nine at the Bear, one of the toughest 18 in the whole world. Our hardest 18 tour continues, bringing us to Ypsilanti, to a golf course I haven't visited before. I know that seems hard to believe, but Eagle Crest is where we find number 16, voted on by you as one of the toughest in the state. Wes Blevins is the general manager here. He's a little, he's on the DL, so he's not gonna play the hole with me, but he, you know this one well. What am I getting myself into? It's a uh, risk reward par five. It's uh, 520 yards. Ford Lake is uh, all along the right hand side of this hole. Uh, you're going to hit uh, your approach shot to a peninsula green. It's uh, roughly 40 to 50 feet in depth. Uh, it's a very intimidating tee shot. You have to hit over uh, wetlands and there's also uh, a creek along the left hand side. To summarize, water down the right, wetlands in the way, and a tiny postage stamp green. Is that about right? That's correct. Whoever voted for this one, thank you so much as we tee it up from the tips at Eagle Crest. We continue our Hardest 18 tour coming to Gaylord at Black Forest Wilderness Valley. And the second hole on this Tom Doak designed Black Forest course is a mouthful and a handful. This, this is a big dog. David Smith is the big dog here. He owns the place. This, this has some serious challenge to it. Take us to the tee box and on through. There are two critical shots, obviously, in this hole. The tee shot needs to be in the right spot in order for you to reach the green in two. Having a tee shot that you need to hit into a specific area, not my strong suit. So left myself with a pretty long second, but it seems like no matter where you hit the tee shot from the tips on this hole, you have a long second shot in. You do. You can, you can be aggressive and try to cut the corner a little bit, but it's wiser to do what you did, put it in the fairway. There's some good mounding, some beautiful vistas on this hole as well. It really carves through the woods nicely. Tom did a great job with this hole. This is terrific, especially in the fall when these colors are at their fullest. It's quite amazing. Every once in a while you get to a par four and you think to yourself, I've got a good chance at three here. I, did, I don't think that here on number two of Black Forest. I'm really hoping for a four. This is a survival hole, I think you're right. If you can get down in, in uh, par or maybe bogey, you're doing well. Survival hole, pretty good way to put it. We have a lot of those on the show today. <laughs> when we asked you to vote, I had no doubt that at some point Arcadia Bluffs would wind up on the list. Mr. Shriver, we stand on number 10 T. It looks like this hole goes forever. Well, Bill, it's a long hole <laughs> from back here. Uh, we're back on the championship T and it's well over 400 yards. Uh, and the fun starts once you get off the tee and down into the fairway. The little marker behind us says 481 for a par four. Uh, I'm not sure I can get to the fairway. Oh, I think you can. Now, Zach and I, when we tee off, are gonna be aiming to get over the barber pole, correct? Is that our line? That is correct. That will uh, give you the widest part of the fairway. So when you get down there, you'll have a good view of the green from there. That green has a little distraction to it in the front left corner. There's, there's a gigantic bunker. It's the only bunker on the hole, uh, but I can tell you that uh, it's challenging if you were to get in it, so you want to stay to the right 
and the ball will kick back to the left if you stay to the right of the bunker. So everything has to stay right at the bunker, and then you're guaranteeing an eagle. It'll just go in. That's the idea, yes. <laughs> I like that kind of guarantee. <laughs> there are so many holes here at Arcadia we could have chosen from. What's your hardest hole here? Well, I think we're standing on it. Uh, there's just no doubt that, you know, you make the turn and you feel like you're getting a fresh start and then you get on the 10th tee and you go, okay, this looks pretty difficult. Uh, and again, I think it's that you can't necessarily see the landing area, so visually it's intimidating. But once you get past that and you're looking at the green, the hole, like most of the holes here, is right in front of you and, and it's pretty uh, open as to what you need to do. Well, it certainly is a special place to play and a most challenging hole selected by our viewers. Oh, it went right. Nice par, my man. Good playing with you, sir. Thank you much. Another bogey on the card. The Hardest 18 Tour continues north of the Mackinac Bridge in Brimley at Wild Bluff Golf Course, where the best dressed pro in the state, Thank Rob, you, Bill. Rob Lussenhop, <laughs> joins us on the 15th <laughs> tee because you selected this as one of the great challenges in the state, and I can't argue with it, Rob. We have a calm day, though. I'm happy yeah, for that. Yeah, no wind today, so no excuses. What's 15 like? Uh, 15 can be brutal. Uh, you come off of 14 on a windy day, you check the, uh, hopefully remember to check the wind on the 14th green. You come through the shoot of trees there. It's a beautiful drive to the 15th tee, and you come up to this uh, multi-leveled uh, railroad tie built uh, uh, T complex uh, hole plays anywhere from 219 down to about uh, 140, 130 yards. Um, we're standing about what would you say? I'd say we're standing 80 feet at least uh, above the green, and there's no good place to miss the green. Uh, you got a little bailout uh, short right, but there's a huge bunker uh, to the left of the green, and it's surrounded by uh, woods. On every other side. Well, you make that sound and so, the, and the so very not, easy. Yeah, and the green's not a cupcake. You know, it's kind of kind of an upside down uh, saucer. So, uh, you know, I, I, you don't go pin seeking here. You just try to try to uh, get a three and get the heck out of here. And on a clear day, you can basically see forever. The views are great. I mean, it's our signature hole. You can see out over the casino, out over the bay, out into Canada. It's it's breathtaking golf hole. Definitely worth the drive over the bridge, Absolutely. even if you don't make a three. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice birdie. Well done. You claim a mere two-shot victory on the hole. This is a tough one, by the way. The 12th hole on our tour takes place at the Medalist Golf Club in Marshall, where we feature a very difficult 11th hole, voted by you as one of the 18 toughest in the state. Lowell Weaver is the director of everything here at the Medalist. Um, I'm seeing a breeze at us. Yep. A uh, pretty lengthy carry here. Tell us about this hole. Yeah, this is, uh, and usually the prevailing wind is at you on this hole, too. Yeah, it's a par four, it's 426 yards. Uh, you've got about uh, 210 yards to carry the, the hazard just to find land. If you miss it left or right, you're not going to clear it that way either. So, and th that's not the easy part, or that's the easy part, is getting the drive onto the fairway. That's the easy part. That's the easy part, yes. Huh. How many golf balls do you limit us to before we get to move up? <laughs> well, actually, we do have a drop here on the other side of the swamp. So we do keep people moving along pretty well because there's a lot of balls. Like I said, you can't miss it left, right, or short. And so we have a drop area up there that is uh, typically played. Even when we do the GAM golf tournaments out here, they use a drop area. Up there. And what would be your <laughs> career scoring average on this hole? Uh, probably about four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah. I actually. would take a four and a half today in a heartbeat. <laughs> sure. Saves a five. <laughs> An ugly five. Nice right. bird, my thank man. You, thank you, sir. Awesome. When you voted for the toughest 18, you brought our crew to Thompsonville, Crystal Mountain to be exact, and Brad Dean's the director of golf at this beautiful property. We're on number one of the Betsy Valley course, and from the tee box, I'm not really sure where to hit it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little intimidating off the tee box, Bill, for sure, but from the back tees, it's 470 yards. And really, when you get out there, you see it's, it's a very big landing area. It's not bad at all. And you can hit anything from a hybrid to a three wood to a driver. Uh, just depends on how far you hit it. Uh, like I hit a three wood off the tee box and passed my driver. Yes, passed your driver. Um, and I'm used uh, to that. and then you know laid up with the four iron, which gave me about 98 yards into the green. So um, the landing areas are bigger, but it's very very deceptive from there because there's a lot of um, trouble. And then when people see water, and it makes you a little tight for sure. We were back on the tips at about 470 or 480, and, and you drained a birdie on me. And I feel good about my par because. This tour is rather exacting, but nice birdie. Thank you very much. The tap in par. Can't make my birdies.
Welcome back to our MGL special touring the state's hardest 18 holes as chosen by you. Through 13 holes, I'm plus nine. Let's see how we do coming down the stretch. It's always fun to introduce what might be a brand new hole and a new course for many of you. Up next in our Hardest 18 Tour, we're in Cedar Springs, Michigan at Cedar Chase Golf Club. A beautiful Jerry Matthews design on the 11th hole. Dave Schlump, this 11th hole goes forever. Talk to us about it. Boy, it has a little bit of everything. As, uh, as we were walking up, uh, we showed you the back tees where we're going to be hitting from 612 yards from back there. Take forever. Um, trouble right, trouble left, a little bit of everything, heavily bunkered, uh, real tough hole. A classic Jerry Matthews with bunkers that will come into play no matter which set of tees you're playing because the long guys, it's 300 yards. From the blue tees, it's about 250 and for so forth and so on. So nobody gets to escape the bunkers, right? Jerry made it rough on everyone. He made it right at that landing area, uh, bunkered this fairway, and then only made it about 30 feet wide <laughs> at the landing area. So Jerry decided that hole number 11 at uh, Cedar Chase was going to be a tough one. And in the event we get home in regulation we're on in three what are my chances of a birdie how's that green well the green is very true um, the speed will be uh, very challenging for you also generally the greens here at Cedar Chase are very quick but uh, you're gonna see a true putt there so if you're on in regulation we expect a birdie out of you today prepare for disappointment <laughs> my man. <laughs> this tour has taken its toll nice par Thank you, sir. Thanks for entertaining us, and uh, what a great hole here at Cedar Chase. Fun stuff. Up next in the 18 Hardest Hole Tour, a hole that you voted as being difficult, and I fully agree with, number three at the Three Tops course at Tree Tops is called Devil's Drop. Jim McKeegan, why is it called that? Well, it's just because it's exactly that, Devil's Drop. It's a 145-foot drop from the tee down to the green. The wind can play a factor in it. I've hit everything from nine iron to four iron into this hole. So the elevation is what makes it the most challenging. What are you gonna hit today? I'm gonna try to hit a little baby six iron today. I think we're playing about 180, 185, so we'll I'm gonna see. try to hit a huge five iron. There's no little baby clubs in my bag. Now, how do you recommend people adjust for elevation change? Is there a formula? Yeah, there's some different formulas out here, but you know, here at Treetops, I've just, it's been trial by error for me. Um, seeing a, a drop like this, that's a 145 foot drop. I'm gonna know that it plays 219, but I can take at least 40 yards off of that, just right off the bat. In the unlikely event that I don't hit the green, what awaits me down there? A two-tiered green. There's a ridge that runs right into the, through the center. Uh, you definitely want to miss over to the right-hand side if you're going to miss it. So if I'm not going to make the shot, if miss it the If right. you're not going to make the shot, miss it to the right. All right. I'll probably make it. Hey, hit the green. Let's see it. Yes, sir. That's a, one, that's a wonderful <laughs> two-putt. Our next featured hole is not all that far from Muskegon. We're at the Double JJ Resort and the Thoroughbred Golf Club because number two was voted by you as one of the hardest 18 in the state. Justin Durga, here we stand on an imposing number two tee box. Describe this hole for us. You gotta hit a big tee shot here. I mean, it's if you're really gonna have a decent shot at the green, you're looking at hitting a tee shot 270 yards to no more than a 20 by 20 plateau of fairway. You and I missed that plateau by a little bit, so we've got about 210, 215 left for our second shot. Talk to us about that because I think it's a blind shot. We're sitting in a tough spot. It's We're gonna have long irons, if not hybrids, in our hands. You're going over swamp, over a tree, and over a big hill, and no, we will not be able to see the pin from where we're at. So if we happen to hit it close, it's pure dumb luck. From where we're at, yeah, if we get it close, we got lucky. <laughs> there are some par fours where a three is a great score. You like make your birdie and get out of here. It looks like this one, a four would be fantastic. You can't hope for more than a four on this hole. If you make a birdie, then Ugh. you're having one of your better rounds. This game can be very cruel at times. We come to our 17th hole in our hardest hole tour. And fittingly enough, this hole is patterned after another famous 17th hole. We are at Eagle Eye Golf Club at East Lansing where they've done a pretty good job of replicating one that you've seen on television. Terry Kilday from Eagle Eye. This 17th looks awfully familiar. It's very, very close. 
We, um, we had an association through our course designer and Pete Dye, and, and they were able to do some laser shooting down at Sawgrass. And, and as you say, it's, it's very, very close. As we play it from the tips, it's not really the distance that's the big issue, it's the targeting. It's the target and the breeze um, that makes all the difference in club selection and then just staying confident enough to go ahead and swing the golf club. If you escape number 17 at Eagle Eye with a three, you feel pretty good about yourself as you, uh, you've come through a gauntlet of challenging holes at a very beautiful place. Congratulations, this is, this is a, uh, a postcard moment here in mid-Michigan. Well, Bill, thank you, and we're really glad to have MGL here today. Well, this is it. The conclusion of our tour of the 18 toughest holes in the state as voted on by you. But I have to tell you that had you not selected our final hole, I would have added it to the list. We're at the Fortress in Frankenmuth, where the diabolical 13th hole has claimed many an MGL logo ball. Eric Coleman, the head golf professional here at the Fortress, what is it about this hole? Well, Bill, it, it never lets up. From tee to green, uh, you've got two hazards on both sides of the fairway. Tip the prevailing wind is typically in your face. From the, from the back tees, it's 440. From our middle tee, it's about 410. And with the amount uh, of rain uh, we've had this year, the fairways are not uh, running as fast as they typically do. So uh, you're not getting any roll on top of that. And then there's no let up on your approach shot into the green. You've got uh, bunkers. So on both sides of the green, you've got fescue, so it's just one of those holes that never lets up. And if you happen to hit the green, you, you might still have a, a fair amount of distance left to the hole. Yeah, that's, big green. That's true. It's a big green. Um, the, depending on the pin position, if it's in the back, you hit it to the front, you could have a 60 to 70 foot putt up a plateau. So even on the green, there's no let up. My career scoring average on 13 at the Fortress is about six and a half. So anything under that, we consider a success worthy of celebration. That was a lot of driving and chipping and putting. All told, plus 11 for the course that you helped put together. If you'd like to see all of the stats and links to each of these wonderful golf properties, visit us online at MGLTV.com. Thanks for watching our special and thanks for voting for the state's hardest 18.